Perl Tutorial Part 50 using the module LWP Simples Mirror Function to download web pages or a whole website. The script will demonstrate how to get one page and then download that page and then follow all the links on that page and download those pages too to your computer. So we've got some modules to load. LWP simple and we require HTML parser module and we require HTML link XTOR module. Now I want to create a variable of the domain that we're going to download pages from. So one of my websites is Age of Empires. .co.nz. So just put in the domain here, no dub dub dubs or anything, just the domain. And then now we have to get using LWP's get function our URL. So HTTP age of empires.co.nz Okay, now we're going to make a directory called what our domain is called, so it'll be called this variable. Now we have to create a new link XTOR object. And then we have a reference to a subroutine that we're going to create below. So we escape our AND sign and we're going to create a subroutine called links. And now we pass our URL. like so. Now we can create our subroutine called links. Now first of all we put in our callback tag and hash Now we create an if statement, if so we want to say if tag equals a hre if and links href. Now this will just get us the pages that are part of this domain. So instead of all the external pages as well. So if you wanted the external pages as well, then you would take out 
this part there. Okay, now we can make variable URL equal to our hash links href create a variable called file make that equal to URL now we have to remove the HTTP dub 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 from the URL so and we have to escape the slashes and the dots so we're going to exchange that for nothing and just in case the URL didn't have W's in it in the first instance we'll take that out again and now we want to translate any remaining forward slashes to dashes like so we can now use our WP simples mirror function to write our URL to file so we've created a directory called the domain above and we're going to write it to an HTML file and then we can print out in our script that we're making file dot HTML like so now this subroutine does not download to file the page we are getting in the first place so we can add that in at the end after the subroutine so copy these seven lines of the subroutine and put it down the bottom here and we can make URL equal to our domain variable like so so now save the script in your Perl working directory and we'll run the script and this should create a folder and download a bunch of files and put them inside and here we're creating our files and last of all is the file we called okay so let's have a look inside our directory we now have a folder ageofempires.co.nz let's open her up and we've got all our files that we're linked to from the page we asked for we can simply now just open these web pages up and view them as HTML pages offline so that's how to download a whole lot of web pages or most of a website and view the pages offline on your computer